Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to take off your watch strap from your watch. Now, the reason why I may be doing this is because maybe you want to clean the watch, maybe you want to replace the strap to a different strap, or maybe you want to modify the watch and want to get a better grip of the case back. Now, changing a watch strap is a lot of fun and makes this hobby a lot more enjoyable because there's thousands of strap options for you to choose from. Changing the watch strap can really change the look and feel of the watch and can give you a whole new experience. Some options are you can change it to a leather band. These are some crocodile straps that uh, I actually featured this one in my SNK 809 modification tutorial and I get a lot of questions on where I got this particular one. Now these two are from the brand Swiss Tech. I got it from eBay quite a while ago. These are a genuine crocodile. Um, their logo is right here and I really do like these straps. They come with a quick release spring bar so it makes changing the spring bar or taking the strap a lot more easier than conventional spring bars. Some other options are NATO straps. Now NATO straps are very popular in the watch community and they give a little bit more of a uh, casual feel to the watch. There are also other options like Perlons and Zulu straps. So to change the actual watch strap what you need is a uh, spring bar tool and it looks something like this. It is just a fork looking uh, tool here and what this tool allows you to do is actually grab the spring bars that's holding the actual bracelet to the watch case. Here is a spring bar. Now this is what's connecting your watch band to your watch case. And the purpose for the spring bar tool is for you to grab the end of the spring bar here so that you can pull it down and that will allow you to remove the watch strap from the case. Now these are spring loaded so what you are basically doing is grabbing the spring bar with your spring bar tool and pulling it down like that now in some cases there isn't enough space in between the case and the spring bar itself for you to uh, grab a hold of it so some people do like to use a dull blade this one is just a case opener. I've seen people use this before. Make sure you're using a dull knife because you don't want to scratch your watch case. Something like this is fine. However, for most cases, I've noticed that the spring bar tool works just fine. So here is the back of the watch. You can see where the spring bar is attaching from the uh, bracelet to the actual case. It is in this little section right here. So here is the actual spring bar, that piece of metal right there. So what you do is you grab the spring bar with your spring bar tool just like that get in between there and you will pull down and what I like to do with my other finger here is push up towards me that allows the actual spring bar to go up and hence the bracelet also comes up just like that now you do want to be careful because sometimes when you get the spring bar out of the actual case, it will fly out. So once you're at this step where one spring bar or one side of the spring bar is out and the other spring bar is in, you can just wiggle it out. So you have one side of your watch band disconnected from your watch case and you basically do the same thing for the other side. Again, spring bar tool on the spring bar, pull it down while your other finger is pushing up towards you. Just like that. And wiggle it out. And now you have completely or successfully removed the bands from your watch. So here's what your watch looks like without the band. This is the SKX-07 without the watch band on it. If you look at the lugs, there are holes. And that's where your spring bar basically fits into. There's one for each side of each lug. So let's say you decide to put this watch on a NATO strap or a Perlon strap or any other strap where the spring bar tool isn't actually combined into the strap itself. What you need to do is put on the spring bars first before you're able to put on the strap. So it's a lot easier to put it on than take it off. Sometimes you don't even need a tool, but I like to use a tool regardless. So what you do is you fit one end of the swing bar into the hole. What I like to do is I like to hold the swing bar with my two fingers while keeping the other side in that hole. Grab the end of the swing bar with the swing bar tool, push it down, 
And once here, it's not in the hole yet. You can just move it around until it fits in that hole. And there it clicks in and it is secure. Now all you need to do is do the same thing for the other side. So once again, fit one end of the swing bar into the hole, hold it with the other two fingers, push down with your swing bar tool, and look for the hole. So here's what your watch looks like with both of the swing bars in them. Now you can fit on your choice of strap, whether it be a Perlon or a NATO. This one is an 18mm NATO, so it won't fit perfectly on this 22mm lug to lug with. But I'll just show you what it looks like regardless. And that's what it will look like. So let's say you're trying to fit on a metal bracelet. It's a little bit different than putting on the swing bars by itself. What you usually need to do is the metal bracelet will have these end links here. These are separate pieces of the bracelet that come right off like that. They're not really connected. And how they are connected to the watch band is you would fit the spring bar tool in between the two to keep it together. So just align it up and fish the spring bar tool in between and they will stay connected. From here, you would attach the end to your watch case. What you need to be careful of in this step is take note of which side of the bracelet you're attaching to which side of the case. You can put it on backwards and you'll be really frustrated because you have to take it off and put it back on again. So what I like to do is, I like to just lay it down here and imagine what it will look like once this end is attached. And since this is facing straight up, once I rotate my wrist, the buckle should be upright like that. So this is the correct side. So you would turn the bracelet over, turn the watch case over, and it's pretty much the same as when you were just putting on the spring bar by itself, except in this case, you have the bracelet that's kind of getting the way. So you will fit one end to the hole of the case, just like that. Then I would hold the whole thing with my two fingers here while keeping the end of the spring bar in the hole. Get my tool, grab the swing bar, push down, and once it's on the actual lug, you just look for the hole and it should click right in and it clicked in. So this side is secure. You will do the exact same thing for the other side. Fit the swing bar tool in between to keep the two together. And now you will put on this end onto the actual case. So one end in the hole, hold it with your two fingers, grab the spring bar with your spring bar tool, push down and in. Then once it's on the actual side of the lug, look for the hole and it'll click right in once you get to the hole. And there it is, your fitted strap. So that's pretty much it for the strap change tutorial. If you did like this video or found it helpful, please make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more watch videos like this.